are talking about back pain in women. If you are pregnant, can you do these exercises? Yes. Please see this video properly. In case there is a specific exercise that you are not supposed to do in pregnancy, I am telling that you are not supposed to do. Otherwise, this is one of the best remedies for back pain in pregnancy and post delivery. So first exercise, both the hands goes up and one. Do it slow if you are pregnant or you have just delivered. In case you have a cesarean section, you can do these exercises after 40 days. So both the hands up and go two and three and four and five. Touching is not important in case you can't reach till there. Wherever you can reach, go till there. So this is an exercise. Understand key is consistency. Jitne bhi exercise dikha rahi ho, din mein do baar karna hai, at least 5-5 repetitions. And you will see a miracle with respect to your back within two weeks. Is that fast, okay? So first exercise is this. Second exercise that works wonders is Manjurasan. So you take the position. You see up, back down. You see down, back up. You see up, back down. See down, back up. The second exercise that plays wonder in the same way is right leg up, left hand in front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down. Then left leg up, right leg down. Why I am seeing back? Because my leg should be in straight line with my hips. Another hand in front. And you hold for 10 seconds. If you can't hold for 10 seconds, hold for 5 seconds. But this will increase strength of your core belt, which has got damage in pregnancy or as you are growing in age. So that will make sure that things go smooth. If you have never done exercises ever, go a little slow and things shall be okay. Third exercise, which plays a very crucial role, sit in Vajrasana or in a mass position and just stretch in front. Even if you are pregnant, you can do this exercise and slowly come up next exercise which you can do on the second day from the second day of your delivery just lie down hands on side you can do it in pregnancy you can do it post delivery just lift hips up and count and relax once again count and relax lift it up and relax next exercise hug your both the legs if you're pregnant spread both the knees if you're not pregnant hold both the knees and count relax next exercise you turn and lie down on your stomach just observe both the hands on the sides you keep your toes absolutely on the floor if you have too much of back pain Rest your knees on the floor and lift your upper back. Don't lift it too much, just little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release. Just lift. Once you gather your decent strength and you're feeling better, you lift your full body in one straight line. Relax. Avoid shaking, shivering, keeping moving your hips up and down. So this you should avoid. Just hold. Lying down on stomach exercises cannot be done when you are expecting. It can be done when you are non-pregnant and even post delivery you can do it. Even if it's a cesarean section, after 40 days you can lie down on your stomach. Then you keep make your hands straight. Keep your hands absolutely straight and you lift your right hand, left leg and neck. And release. Left hand, right leg and neck. This is Naukasan. Works brilliantly well on back. And release. And release and lift and release then both the hands both the legs if you can't lift it too much lift little count one to five and release lift count one to five and release so these are a few sitting and lying down exercises which will help you to feel far better at your back and you will feel stronger now Shreya which is the Dvija solution Dvija has got Dvija Akopa powder it's a fabulous solution for back pain. You can take it in pregnancy. You can start from ninth month and you can take it even a post delivery phase. And even if you've delivered little long and you are having back pain issues, this is very good solution at any age. It can be consumed. 
you'll get it on amazon you'll get it on www.madhuja.com but works brilliantly well apart from that there are few of the home remedies that you should take if you're a non vegetarian have egg every day even if you are a vegetarian or a non vegetarian see to it that you are high on calcium that's have curd at least every day which is homemade have buttermilk keep yourself more hydrated and see to it that you sincerely keep doing your exercises always remember there are no shortcut to fitness thank you so much and bye